Okay, sorry about that. I, something happened with my stream and I, my switcher wasn't switching. So let's try this again. So gotten some questions about how to assign the, uh, the different settings, the bindings for the controller within Microsoft Flight Simulator for the helicopters. And I'm going to try to run through this uh, fairly briefly, but I want to do it in such a way that we can kind of see what's going on. And again, I apologize uh, for those of you who are watching the early one that got cut off. So first of all, let's kind of start with what we're talking about, and then I'll show you how to assign. We have two different kinds of uh, helicopters to worry about. The first one, I'm going to call them the native helicopters. These are the new helicopters that just came out with the 40th anniversary. These are the ones developed either by or with Microsoft. They use the proprietary flight model within uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. They have very specific ways that they can be bound or set up with the uh, controllers. I'm going to show you those, but first I want to show you the older, the, I'm going to call it the non-native way, and, and then we'll kind of run through both and I'll show you how the, the setups. But briefly, so here's the inside of the Bell 47G uh, by fly inside. This is the older uh, helicopter for the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. It does not use the current proprietary and it's set up a little bit different. So the joystick, which controls the cyclic, is set up exactly like a joystick would be in an airplane or a yoke would be for, say, a Cessna. It's treated just like a, a yoke. So forwards and backwards would be bound to the elevator and left and right would be bound to the ailerons, uh, again, just like uh, a Cessna. And I'll show you how that's done. And then we have the pedals, and that's going to be bound to the rudders, just like it would be in a uh, sorry, an airplane like a Cessna 172. And I will review that. Now, you may not have pedals. You may have a uh, joystick that has a twisting grip, and that could be bound to the rudders as well, whichever one you have. Now, here's the one where, this is where it gets confusing. Over here is the collective, okay? And on the collective, you can see that kind of wood grain is a throttle. Now, many of the helicopters, all the helicopters have a collective. Not all helicopters emulate the throttle. And a lot of the ones that do emulate the throttle as it relates to the helicopter on the collective have an, a governor or an auto throttle, and you really don't even need to de worry about it. Th the throttle will just be set at 100%, and the, uh, the, the governor will, will make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. So that's what we need to set up. Let me show you how that's done. So let's go to settings. and control options. And at first I'm gonna start with the easy stuff. You can see I have different profiles. I'll start with the rudder pedals. And again, this could be the twist grip on a, on a joystick. So I'm just gonna search by input. And you can see there, I just tapped on the rudder pedal and it came up. If you had a joystick, you would just twist it. And this would come up and you can see that I have it assigned to the rudder axis. So if you need to pause that to look at it, it's the rudder axis. Okay. Now let's look at the joystick. And I'm going to come over here to the joystick. Basically, this guy here. And you can see already, if you didn't have that come up, you could just search by input. And that would come up. Or if you didn't know what you were looking for, you could type in elevator and you would get to elevator axis. And then you could type in aileron and get to aileron axis or aileron rather. Um, I'm just doing it like this because it's the easiest. But that's what you're looking for, elevator axis or aileron axis. And that's going to be assigned to your joystick just like it was an airplane or a yoke. You're, basically, it's a yoke. So that's the settings for that. So again, if you need to pause to look at that, that's fine. Now let's do the one that, this is where I think a lot of people get confused. So 
how do you make how do you approximate the um, the collective? And this is going to get super confusing, and I apologize. So basically, in the non-native, the older helicopters, not the ones that came out in the 40th anniversary, those are assigned, the collective is assigned to the throttle. The collective in the in the helicopter is assigned to the throttle setting in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let me demonstrate that. Search by input. And oh, I'm on the wrong one. There we go. Search by input. I'm on the throttle now. And now you can see it says throttle axis. That is what is going to operate as your collective. So if you have an, you know, like a Bravo or an older, um, like one of the Logitech, SciTech throttles, you could assign one of those as your collective. It just has to be an axis. If you have a HOTUS system, your throttle could be set up as the collective. You're going to assign it to the throttle. This is the older non-native like the flying side Bell 47G and the high performance 145. So in my case, let me push this out of the way. I have it assigned to a, an actual collective, but it's, it's basically a, a bar attached to a throttle base, um, very much like any HOTA system. And this is assigned to the, um, this is assigned to the, the throttle axis in the older style. Now, let's just make this even more confusing. If you're going to try, if you have the ability to also assign the throttle in the helicopter, it's assigned to the propeller axis. And that is completely counterintuitive. You would think that the collective would be the propeller axis and the throttle would be the throttle, but it's not the case. It's opposite. It's the opposite of that. So if you're going to assign the throttle in the helicopter to the throttle in micro, you have to assign it to the propeller axis. So, and again, let me go back here. This part that's going up and down right now, that is assigned to throttle. This part that's twisting right now, that's assigned to propeller axis. This is the older style way. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, put some questions in the comments box and I will answer them. So now what I want to do is I want to go to the newer style so let me, hopefully this doesn't take too long to switch over. Main menu. And I did the older style first because for some reason the Bell 47 takes forever to load and I don't know what that's about. So let me come over here. And we'll do this G2. And I'll show you how this is done. This is done differently. Okay. Let it load. And what I'm going to do is kill the motor. So when I do stuff, it won't cause us to have an accident. So here, and I really do have to be careful because it, it will, it will cause some problems. So now you want to do the same thing, but in this helicopter. So there's some good news. And that is without changing anything, 
your setup should work just like it was for the older style helicopters. I haven't changed a single setting and it works. Okay, so I have this left and right is assigned to the ailerons. Forward and back is assigned to the rudder. Even though this is the cyclic, the pedals are assigned to the rudder. The anti-torque pedals are assigned to the rudder. The collective, the up and down part, is assigned to throttle. And this part that's twisting, which is the throttle, <laughs> is assigned to the propeller axis. So that will work. The old style settings will work. But having said that, there are some new settings if you want to be more of a purist. And let me show you what, what that looks like. So I'm going to go to control options and I'm going to switch all of this. I have native profiles. Again, I'm just, that's my terminology. And apply and go back. And as you see, still works. Everything still works. Cyclic, anti-torque, collective, throttle. You can see all that works, but the settings are different. And I don't know if they just made it to where, I'm not sure why they did it this way, but let's, let's look and see. So let's start with the rudder pedals. Search by input. Now you can see instead of rudder, it's called tail rotor axis. Tail rotor axis. This is the new setting. The old settings work on the new helicopters. The new helicopter settings do not work on the older helicopters. So the non-native works on the native, at least for now. Native does not work on non-native. But that's... And if again, if you had a twist grip, you could assign that to the twist grip. I don't care about the connection. So now let's look at the joystick. Search by input. Okay, so now it has cyclic. It actually has a cyclic. It has a longitudinal axis. and a cyclic lateral axis. So within Microsoft, the lateral is the left and right. The longitudinal is the forward and back. If you were looking for it the other way, you would just type in cyclic. Whoop, none of that looks like cyclic. And you would see these axes populate, then you would just click on the button and assign whatever you're using. In most cases, it will be a joystick. So there's that. Now let's look at the throttle or the collective. So again, I had, it just has collective axis. So instead of throttle, in the older style, this would say throttle, but now this says collective, and it's not reversed. At least, yeah, not reversed. So that's the collective axis, and but the only thing that is left over is the throttle in the helicopter is still bound to the propeller axis. Still bound to the propeller axis. So to review, within Microsoft, on the joystick, this is collective longitudinal. This is collective lateral. The pedals are bound to tail rotor. The collective, the bar that's going up and down, is bound to 
collective, just collective axis. I don't think it needs to be reversed, but you may have to play with that. And then the twisty part on the collective is still bound to propeller axis. So those are the settings. I hope this helps. If you have any further questions, just let me know. And again, if you don't have all the fancy gear, the tail rotor could be assigned to the tail to the uh, to the twist grip on a joystick, and a collective could be bound to any kind of throttle lever. The one that would be hard to do would be the twisty part on the collective. That one it would be a hard part to emulate. But again, just about all these helicopters, this one included, has an auto throttle option, and you don't even have to worry about it. Once the auto throttle is on, doesn't matter where the where this is in its rotation, it will be handled automatically. So once again, hopefully this helps. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Just let me know if there's any questions.